Hi class, so what I want to do in this video here is I want to walk you through the first part of your module two assignment. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a multiple part um, video series on this that walks you through each of these um, steps in your project here to help you or your assignment to help you. Okay, so here's the, here's the problem. Here's the prompt. You have been recently hired as a junior analyst by DM Pan Real Estate Company. Okay, the sales team has tasked you with preparing a report that examines the relationship between the selling price of properties and their size in square feet. So generally, you know, what you would think here is that the, the more square foot in a house, uh, the higher the sale price. Okay, so what we want to do is basically analyze that relationship here. So you are provided with a real estate county data document. So I'm going to click on this document and you're going to load it up in Excel. And what I want to do going to resize it here. You're going to click enable edit and we're going to work in this document um, uh, for this project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a region um, for this as explained in the um, problem and I'll walk you through all the steps. Okay. All right. So this document includes properties sold nationwide in recent years. So the team has asked you to select a region, complete an initial analysis and provide the report to the team. Okay. So note in the report you prepare for the sales team, your response variable Y should be the median listing price. So going back, this is the median listing price right here. All right. And the predictor variable X should be the mean square footage, which is here. Okay. So here's what you're going to do. All right. First part here, you're going to see specifically address the following rubric criteria using the module tool assign, assignment template. So when you go to write your report for this, you're going to need to write the report using this template here. Okay. And I will show you as we go through, I'll provide an example of this for you. Um, so you can see that how the report looks like, but for now, what I want to do is I just want to show you get the Excel. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is you need to do uh, generate a representative sample of the data. So you're going to select a region and generate a simple random sample of 30 from that data. All right, so what I have to do first is I'm gonna clean up the Excel spreadsheet. So I'm gonna get rid of all the erroneous data I don't need. The top few, um, uh, top few columns are not needed. And so really what I'm interested in is the median price listing and the median square footage, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna get rid of this middle column here because I don't need it, all right? It can get in my way. And also what I'm gonna to need to do is I'm gonna to need to select a region. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll all the way down to the end, okay? And I'm going to select, just for our analysis, the West, South, Central. Okay, that's my region. So I'm going to scroll up here and find where the West, South, Central uh, begins. It's right here. All right, so I'm just going to highlight this so that I know this is, this is the data I want to select from. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and just so my analysis is easy, I'm going to delete all the rest of the data, okay? Just so I have only the data I'm interested in. And I'll clear this out so there's no filter. So I have this west west south region, west south central region. And what it next says is generate a simple random sample of 30 from the data. Okay, so what you're going to do to do this, all right? I'm going to create a column called random sample and you're going to use this command function, okay, called equal rand, and then you're going to put parentheses here. What this does is it generates a random number for you between zero and one, okay, and you're going to take this command and you're going to hit copy and you're going to paste it all the way down here. And you see there's just a bunch of random numbers between zero and one. Now what you're next going to do is you're going to highlight the F column. You're going to go to data, and you're going to sort, okay? So you're going to see this, this option that says A to Z sort from smallest to largest. Next, it's going to say expand your selection so that it selects everything. And you'll notice, boom, it just randomly reordered them. I can do it again. So notice the first one was in the state of Oklahoma, county of Tulsa. If I do this again, it selects a different group and then a different group. Okay, so all I want now is the first 30 value. So it starts at cell two. So you're actually gonna to go to 31, all right? Cause that's, you know, including the first column one, get you to 31. And you're gonna take the rest of your data starting at 32. You're gonna go down 
and you're going to delete it. You'll notice that every time you make it a change in your Excel sheet, the random sample number will change. Okay, legit. Even if I like move this, um, it's it's going to change. So what I want to do next now to get rid of my um, to get rid of this number, you can delete it. I'll just leave it there. It doesn't really matter. So the next thing it says is report the mean, median, and standard deviation of the median listing price and median square foot at, um, variables. So I have this column here. So the median listing price, and I want the mean, the median, and the standard deviation of this. So we know that to find the mean, we're gonna go equals average, and then we're gonna select all the values, close the parentheses, hit enter. So that's that average median listing price. Equals median, reports the median. Close the parentheses, there's your median. And standard deviation is equal to stdev.s because it's a sample. And you're going to highlight and select those. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing for the median square feet. You're going to find the mean, median, and standard deviation now for that variable. So equal average for the median square feet, the median Got it there. And then finally, the same thing with the standard deviation. stdev.s. Close the parentheses. And there you go. So right now, what we have here is we have a random sample. OK, specifically, I chose the west, south, central region. So hopefully, everyone in the class will choose a different region. And then I use the equals rand function to generate a random sample, a random number, excuse me, between 0 and 1. Then I sorted the column from lowest to highest to get a, a random sample of 30. And then I computed the median listing price. Uh, using the median listing price, I computed the mean, median, and standard deviation of this random sample. And I did the same thing for median square feet. I got the mean of that, median, and the standard deviation. All right, class, I'll follow this up with another video that talks about um, analyzing your sample. And then I will do one for creating a scatter plot and then one for observing the patterns.